the uh, resolution before the House today, women should be sent back to the kitchen. I'd like now to call on our Prime Minister, who will, uh, I guess, give us some direction in what they mean by this uh, resolution they bring, in, or they hope to bring forward, and uh, to outline their points. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I wasn't expecting to be on camera today. I forgot to wear my tie. <laughs> Anywho, today the resolution says, wait, the resolution is, be it resolved that women should be sent back to the kitchen. We interpret this as women would be better off staying home, staying in the household, being in the kitchen, whether it be in the kitchen, or just anywhere in the house, basically. So today we have um, brought up three points. One would be that it would um, help with the unemployment issue in today's society. Two would be better for the social uh, aspect. And three would be to be better nutrition in uh, everyone's daily life. But I'm only going to, uh, for time reasons, I'm only going to talk about one of these points. My honorable colleague here will take care of the other two. So our first point would be women should be sent, stay in the household to help with the unemployment issue. If women stay in the household, there will be a lot more jobs available to everyone else in the world so they can, so they can, there will be, there will be um, more jobs available, therefore will decrease the amount of people who are on welfare who cannot find good jobs to support their family. So if less people are working, there will be more, better quality jobs, therefore more jobs are available, meaning more pay, meaning more money to support the household. So therefore, there would not be any unemployment, there will not be any welfare, there would not be any um, um, poverty in the world. Um, the other two points being the social aspect and the uh, nutrition aspect, aspect will become later on in our uh, debate. And uh, thank you. 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 Two minutes and 31 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it was two minutes and 31 seconds. Yeah, really well organized. Yeah, thank you, uh, Prime Minister, there for the definition mm -hmm. and the organization of your three points and bringing forth one before the House today. Uh, I'd like to now call on our uh, member of the opposition. Rosiki. 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 That's her last name spelled. Can you spell it out? You know what I'm right now? So you go by Rosiki? Perhaps why I always call you Andre. I like Andre. I like to thank uh, Andre now, and this is her Andre. initial speech here in our debating <laughs> club. <laughs> when you're ready, Andre, what you should Andrea. do is you try to Andrea. Andrea, <laughs> you should try to build up <laughs> your case first. Try to make maybe two or three points, whatever it is that you decided that you would do, and then rebut theirs. And if you have time at the end, it would be great if you could repeat yours once more, like one, two, three. Okay, let's okay, okay. just go. Okay, thank you, Madam Speaker. You're welcome. Well, as a resolution that. Um, Prime Minister wants to put on, I don't know, like, women should be sent to the kitchen. Well, we have three points, but I'm only going to touch the first one. Um, I don't, women offer things to the workplace that men don't. And, I mean, yeah, maybe they, they're stronger or whatever, but the hard type that we have as women, is they don't have it. So, as the Prime Minister said that um, they should be better off in the kitchen because it would be unemployment, less unemployment. Well, what are they saying? This might sound a little feminist, but what? They can't keep up with women competition? Mm -hmm. Is that it? I mean, yeah, okay, so we stay home in the kitchen. So, over here,
here is that we think that our education will be wasted at the beginning of the year. So that was the, um, how can we say it? Well, that was this fact that, that like, God would say, well, my girls are going to study this part. It'd be a waste because she'd be in the kitchen all the time. So then it'd be a waste of education for the girl, the woman that stayed in the kitchen. And the other guy that lives in the welfare is probably could you know, get a good education or probably she didn't want to, then it'd be like, like, the okay, we stay home to the one place that can have better education. So I mean, that the, the job that a girl, a woman could, a woman turn off because she needed to stay in the kitchen, now this guy that probably don't have the same level of education will take over it. So you're telling me that if a doctor, you know, she spent 10, 11 years of her life trying to learn how to open the person and give them life back or something, uh, it's going to be taken over by a, by a guy that only probably gets 10 and a resident, fully resident in some mm -hmm. little town that they only have four or six people a year. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, um, yeah, so I think that women cannot stay in the kitchen because they make a really good contribution to the workforce. Not only as the working force, but also as humans. And, you know, like, girls, we are more sensitive and responsible in terms that you have a family and you are the mother. You, of course, want to that, you know, like, it's just the fact of the gender, I guess. But, as well, to conclusion, I guess. Uh, women shouldn't stay in the kitchen, and they make good contribution to the workplace. And if guys can't keep up with us, then they should be in the kitchen with us. That's your two points there, right? Thank you. Thank you, Andre, for that. Uh, Andrea. I always said Andrea, and now all of a sudden I'm saying Andrea. <laughs> Junk food, instant food, fast food, 